Hey everybody. Well, my family right now is into the game of Monopoly. Uh, currently we are playing Monopoly Junior Unicorn Edition. And one of the things that's so fun about Monopoly is, you know, you're getting properties, you're collecting resources for yourself, you're spending money, you're trying to win and compete. And it gets intense and at the end of the day, the game's over and everything goes back in the box. All your properties, all your money, the game's over. And it's just a reminder for us that the life that we're currently living, uh, there's a bigger reality to life, the spiritual life, the godly life. I want to read for us 2 Peter 1.3. It says this, His divine power has given us everything, everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who has called us by His glory and goodness. And so it's just a reminder that all that power that God has given us, our skills, our abilities, our resources, all this goodness, all this power that's been given to us, it's not just meant for the game of Monopoly, this, this earthly life that we're, that we're living. It's this spiritual life. It's this godly life. And so the way we live our life here with that power, it's not about powering up and use, dominating people and my resources, my company, uh, my assets. No, it's about giving it away. It's about living out the fruits of the Spirit. And I think one of the reminders for me is that most of the godly power that we receive, it transforms us from the inside out. Our power is meant to be transformed so that we look a little bit more like Jesus, more loving, more patient, more kind, more gentle. The power of God transforms me as a person, and then therefore people see Christ through me. And so as we go through our day, let us just reflect on the fact and keep our eternal perspective that everything that God has given us is meant for this godly life. Mm -hmm.